Are you wanting to improve your hip strength and your lower body strength so that you can sit taller, stand taller, and move better? Well, I've got an exercise video for you today you will not want to miss. What's up, MS Gym YouTube family? My name's Trevor Wicken, and I'm the founder and creator of The MS Gym, the largest platform for movement, mindset, and education for people affected by MS and neurodegenerative conditions. So we release videos pretty often, so make sure that you go down and click subscribe on this page so you don't miss any of the awesome videos that come out. And please stick around till the end of the video for I, I always will have some kind of offer and special offerings for you watching this video so that you can come train with us. So one of the most disrupted movement patterns in the MS brain, in the neurodegenerative condition brain, is what is called a hip hinge or a flexion and extension, okay? So a flexion at your hips is being able to bend forward like this and maintain your balance. An extension of the hips is being able to stand up and get completely vertical so your body feels safe up on its feet so it can take a step and it can move. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do a proper hinge and restore that flexion extension balance in your body. So as you go down into this flexion, that's a lot of stability on your posterior chain and also in your anterior chain. So the muscle groups that you're going to be working first are going to be your spinal stabilizers. And then secondly, you're going to be working on your deep abdominal core. All right. So those are going to provide you the stability to come down and have a good control in this forward bend. And then when you come up, you're going to drive forward through your hips and lift your chest at the same time. So this is not a squat. We are truly hinging at the hips and then we're coming back up. So to perform a proper hinge, I want you to be in an environment that is as safe as possible for your brain. Because going into a flexion and then standing up into an extension is a big, what's called a big vestibular event for your brain. Because you, your body doesn't want to fall on its face and then it needs to come back up and your brain needs to figure out what's going on the whole time. So I want you to have something that's very stable in front of you. You can do a chair that's pushed up against the wall. You can use a wheelie walker with the brakes on, whatever it's going to be. So if you feel a little bit shaky up on your feet, use something that's a very stable uh, base of support. Now, with the hinge, I want your feet at hip width. Okay, You're going to put your hands on that stable uh, base, just a, just a comfortable distance away. You don't want to be reaching, and you also don't want to be too close. You want to kind of just relax and then just set your hands on there, all right? Now, I want you to kind of screw your feet into the ground, okay? Abs are going to be in. Your lats are going to be engaged because I want you to pull your shoulder blades down towards your back pocket. So we're going to lock the blades in and get a nice tall spine. Now, imagine someone had a, had a rope attached to your waistband here, and they are pulling you straight back. So this is not a squat motion. You are truly hinging right here at your hip. So put, you can put your hands on your hip like this and just push back. So you're doing a bow and then you're standing back up. So here we go. Let's go five. So lock that those shoulder blades down. Abs are in. Ready? Slowly push your hips back, back, just to the point where you feel cool, where you feel stable. There's no pain. Back, back, abs in. Now drive those hips forward. Stand up. Tall. One. And down. Two, three, Four, hold, and up, two, good, and three, two, three, really flex at those hips, get nice and flat, take a bow, because you're awesome, and up, okay, two more, one, two, three, four, you should feel a stretch back here in your hamstrings, abs in, drive the hips forward, that's four, and down, abs in, two, three, four, hold, and come up, and feel good about yourself. <laughs> okay. Now, if you feel pretty good on your feet and you feel pretty stable, you can always add a little bit of resistance here. All right. So what you can do is grip the handles of your band. Okay. You're going to stand on your band. Same thing, hip, uh, or, or I mean, feet are hip width apart. Now you're going to walk your hands down your band a little bit so that you have tension right when you get down to this knee level and come up. Now, what I'd like to see is that you can either do this against a wall 
or with a chair or something behind you, you're going to come back, and as you hinge, I want you to push back and touch your butt to that chair behind you, okay, or that wall behind you, and then stand back up. So you want to be far enough away that you have room for your boote and your hips to move back, and then you're going to push your hips away from it, okay? So go ahead and grab your bands, lock your shoulder blades down so your lats should be pulled down towards your back pocket. Abs are in, and we're going to push those hips back. All right, here we go. Ready? And down, two, three, four. Touch behind you, and up. And two, two, three, four, and up. And three, two, three, four, and up. Big breath in, and down, two, three, four, and up. That's four. Keep it tight, and down, two, three, four, and up. Awesome. If you want more exercises just like this one that are going to help you counteract your MS symptoms, I invite you to check out exercisewithms.com. This website is a catalog of our many movement programs that are specifically designed to target certain areas of the brain to improve your strength, your balance, your coordination, your mobility, and boost your endurance so you can do more throughout your day. So if you're ready to get started and you want to check that out, please click the link below in the description and I will see you on the inside.